Welcome to Ghana Money King Kong, where we give you tips, tools, and deals for you to be able to stay safe and save money in Ghana. If this is the first time you're joining us, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and just keep the conversation going. I want us to look at unemployment in Ghana, the situation of unemployment. And it is not new, and I, I wouldn't be the first person who would be talking about unemployment. But I just feel that sometimes when we, we talk about these issues, we don't look at it in the very practical manner. And I'm not saying I'm the best person to solve unemployment problems in Ghana, but this is my opinion. This is just my opinion on what I feel we can do to be able to solve the unemployment situation. Let's look across the country. Why are people not in employment? What sort of businesses can employ people in Ghana? If we look at people who are coming out of education or guys who are just finishing their courses or people who are, who, who are basically have a basis, some basic form of education, but then they've got the manpower, they are strong and they can involve themselves in some, some hard labor jobs. What is there? What is in the country? What can people do? Who is employed? And me looking at the way things are what i can say is there is not much for people who are looking for jobs people are not investing in Ghanaians. people who have got money to be able to invest in in production factory certain adventures to employ are not doing enough that is the problem we are not doing enough and we are the same people who will complain when there is a youth and the people who are going about doing nothing. Are we saying that we don't have enough people in the country who have money to set up companies? Whereas the companies would then go and then employ people. We have them. But they are not investing. Why? People are looking for the quickest margins in terms of profits you have very few people who are looking at manufacturing some form of uh, uh, construction some form of long-term long-term kind of investment which would employ a lot of people people are not doing that people are not doing that and that is that is where we need to concentrate so if we look at the policy or if you look at the push by the current government trying to get this one factory one district one factory sort of model why are we struggling because we are looking for foreigners we are looking for external people to come and invest are we telling ourselves that we don't have enough people who can possibly collaborate with other other guys or collaborate with other companies come together and build these factories we have them where is the money? The money is invested in something else that is giving them money, but they are not putting the money into investing in guys who would then get employment. I've just had a chat with a lot of people recently, and whenever this comes up, they give me one simple reason. I am going to cover this next time, but I just want to talk about it. The reason that they say people don't want to invest is they feel the Ghanaian worker it's going to run the company down. Is that true? Is that how far it is that they feel Ghanaians, us, we the workers, we will collapse the company? Why are businesses being successful? Why do we have the MTNs and the Vodafones in Ghana? Are they being run by, by foreigners? It's Ghanaians, but it's successful. Why do we have other manufacturing companies go to coca-cola how long coca-cola has been in ghana fan milk how long has fan milk been in the country jtp has been in existence for how long is it not ghanians who are working in there so if we say if we, we we keep this mentality by not investing in in some form of production and manufacturing for young guys and the youth who are getting out of education to come and work how are we going to solve this problem 
some of us possibly are not now ready. We cannot employ people. But we are doing our best trying to get the youth governized so that they will push themselves up out of this poverty. We have people in the country who can do this. And I, I, it's, I don't know how far this video is going to go, but whoever is sitting in Ghana or whoever is in, in, in the diaspora, anywhere who want to go and set up a company in Ghana and they are being stopped or they are, being, they are thinking too much because the, the rhetoric is that Ghanaians will run the company down. It's not true. You have to set it up properly. You have to be able to know what you're going to do. And there's a lot of success stories in Ghana about this. So I, I don't know where you are. I don't know what you can do now. I don't know what you, you are thinking about investing in now. But all that I'm going to say is it's a plea. Look at Ghanaians. Look at the youth. Think about them. Let them see that Ghanaians, the leaders and the people who are in authority, the people who have got something, who can help. Let them see that there is hope. Because we cannot live in a country whereby the, the, there's this constant thinking that there is no hope in Ghana. There is, no, there is. We, some of us believe in Ghana. I don't know where you are, but kindly look at your, your, your business proposition and, and make sure it is something that is tailored in, in a form of giving jobs to Ghanaian youth. And we, we're, going to, we're going to cover more on, on, on some of the reasons why people are not doing this and the, the idea and the notion that the Ghanaian worker it's lazy. The Ghanaian worker is not ready to work. The Ghanaian worker will collapse the business. That is not true. That is not true. Thank you for watching Ghana Money King Kong. Keep the conversation going. Bye.